Howdy folks, hope you're all having a good one, and welcome to my last Cyberpunk 2077 video. Some of you are probably going to be quite happy about that, some of you are going to be very sad. But this is the conclusion to the final ending that I unlocked, the Nomad ending. And the reason it's been in two videos is because this shit takes forever. If you want your money's worth out of Cyberpunk 2077, go for the Nomad ending. So, the story so far. We've decided that we're going to take on Pan Am and the Alder Caldo's clan's offer of help and go after Arasaka Tower, which is going to involve stealing a drilling machine and digging our way into Makoshi underneath the Arasaka Tower. This is not going to be easy, but we do have a tank. So there's that. This is the only ending where you get to drive a tank. Unfortunately, while this is my favourite ending, it's also the one with the most bugs, which hopefully, in the two updates that have been uh, patched onto the game since I recorded this, have mostly been fixed. Because this is, in my opinion, the best ending. Your mileage, of course, may vary. Anyway, let's get on with it. Now that is a sight I will never tire of seeing. It best not keep them waiting. Tanks full. Loads checked. Top down. Gear loaded. We are prepared to go. And everything else? If this goes to shit, we need to break... Looks like everyone's ready. As ready as they can be. It's not your usual raid. First for many. Mitch probably roused them. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but I am coming down with a bit of a cold. At least, I hope it's a cold. It could be the plague. It's probably just a cold. But it is affecting my voice, and I don't have to talk too much in these cyberpunk videos, so there's that. Do you feel that? The tension? It means they've realized what they're stepping into. I just got back from doing some reconnaissance. You'll want to see this. Thanks. The plan is simple. We have two objectives. One, get into Arasaka Tower and assist V in accessing Mikoshi. And two, take advantage of the confusion to gather as much equipment as we can. Prizes like that will see to our cash flow problem. The only way into Mikoshi is to dig through to Arasaka Tower's underground levels. Which means we have to hit the Maglev Tunnel construction site and hijack the Night Corp Cirque. Last but not least, intel from our recon drone has showed us a couple of weak points. Valley leads to the site. I doubt they'll be expecting trouble there. All the same, we'll want to move quickly. Time is of the essence. We can't allow the guards to call for backup. And if we're too slow? That'll be a job for Bob and his jammer. We'll just have to get close to their comms antenna and start transmitting. Let's not kid ourselves. It won't stall them for long. Let's hope it keeps them busy just long enough. Are there drones there? Early detection systems? Anything? It's not Fort Knox, yet Night Corp is using Militech for security, so you never know. I guarantee you they're patrolling the area. In any case, our drones will match theirs. Teddy will be on the lookout to raise the red flag. Construction site's walled in. Are Panzer's gun big enough for that gate? You bet your ass it is. Sounds good so far. What else? Once you're inside, you'll need to reach the Cirque and get it to do your bidding. Enter Mitch and Carol. Get that drill up and running, and the road to the cellars of Arasaka Tower will be wide open. From there, V, Pan Am, and I will get to the laboratory and find a way into Mikoshi. And while we're drilling in, should we expect anyone to crash our party? If everything goes as planned, nobody should know where we are or what we plan to do. Feel free to look around more if you want. We still have some time left. I think I've seen enough. Well, that about does it. V, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Is everyone up to speed? Start your engines, folks. Now that's the sight to go. Mm-hmm. And only this desert. 
Everybody reading loud and clear? I've got us on a group channel. Coming to you live from the Badlands. This is your home. Steady. All right, all right. Did you fire up that drone? The little bird is humming away. You are trespassing on property protected by Militech Site Secure. Turn back now. I repeat, turn your vehicles around. Bobby, do you remember the jammer? Sure do. We're on it. Got speed. Pan Am, did you check if all systems are operational? Check. Nitro injector clear. Launcher's also green. We're good to go. Then let the fun begin. On the drones, you deal with the Panzer. No, no, no! Fire in the cockpit! Got the power system! That's not a thing. You put it out! Get the fuck out if not! Crash away from where are you? I'm out here by the Panzer. What's the hold up? Pan Am, how the fuck? It's here! A minute! Fire's under control. Switching to emergency power. A couple of systems will be analog, but you should be mobile. longer. Systems could go down any second. I'd do anything to make it in one piece. Anything. After that, I can improvise. We can do this, Pan Am. Hang in there. We need to wipe the four boats aside, walk the road, and take it across the bridge. Brace yourself. No more missiles. Not a one. We're damned. So many things in this already. We can do this. The addition of the rocket launcher is very, very useful for dealing with the uh, foot targets because the 70mm gun is notoriously bad for dealing with targets like that. It's great for knocking out drones and tanks, but men on foot, not so much. This rocket launcher absolutely tears them apart. Go right through the gate, me! Space, she's dying like I said she would. Propulsion, weapon systems, launchers, all falling like dominoes. Is there anything you can do about it? I'll try. Either I do this, or this rattle trap will really be scrapped. You get out. Help our folks. We'll provide cover. Just hurry, all right? Copy that. 
Yeah, that just happened. There's likely a control room upstairs we can link remotely to the Cirque from there. Nice driving, Carol. Remind me, you drive for a living, yeah? It's little things like that, and there's multiple examples that show that there weren't many quality control passes between this ending being written and the game being shipped. I got a terminal. We're jacking in. What about security protocols? V, it's not a space station. It's a dumb big-ass drill. Don't worry. Carol will slice through it like butter. All right, we're firing up the circ. Aiming to bore through to Arasaka Tower. This will take some time. V, we'll need you to cover us. We've got company. A lot of it, too. V, help us out here. Fucking Militech is not letting up. Damn. It's looking like the drill vector's on auto. How can we possibly turn it? I'm gonna sweet talk this bitch into it. Mitch, kill that autopilot and hit manual override. Got it. Things like this. I'm covering Mitch and Carol. I have a sniper rifle. There's quest markers indicating where the enemy are going to come from. According to Pan Am... Where are they? I mean, what exactly is the rush? We're not under attack. Well, we are. But the Militech reinforcements are showing no interest whatsoever in actually entering the compound. <laughs> you know, where the attackers are. Uh, like I said, everything kind of works in this ending. But if they'd done more than one quality control pass, they might have noticed things like this. But they clearly didn't, because they had to get the game out of the door in time for Christmas really disappointing because this is still my favorite ending but little things like this I'm not gonna say they ruin it but they definitely don't help oh there they are just fucking standing there <laughs> We heard there was a problem. Hello? Anyone home? Seems quiet to me. Must have been a false alarm. I know we are getting shot. I mean, really? You can tell this game was rushed out in order to meet that Christmas deadline. Huh? Brace yourselves! Oh, 
Let us begin! How much longer? Shoot! Shoot! I know, Pan Am, I know. We'll keep you covered. Then, of course, just when you started thinking that CD Projekt Red had ironed out the bugs with the Militech response team's reactions and the flow of the action started to pick up and become a lot more dynamic, this happened. Would you guys maybe like to maybe, I don't know, get out of you? No? Fine. Yeah, this is, this, this is fine. <laughs> yeah, oh well, then. Maybe in the next update. My fault. Teddy and Bob, they knew the risks, V. Everyone knows. So do I. And if you'd known how this would turn out? I'd do it all over again. For anyone in the clan. Saul told me you brought in some help from Mikoshi. Someone from the outside. Mm. Alt. And who is that? There's a net running queen of Night City. It's her. Or rather, was. Why? Does she do something else now? So to speak. Lives elsewhere, too. But she'll help us. Mm hmm. And you trust her? Yeah. She'll help us. Why? 
Something got you worried? I trust you. That's all I'll say. By extension, I trust this alt won't pull any rugs out from under us. Things will work out. They gotta... come too far for him not to. This would be it. How much farther to our Osaka Tower? Not far. It should be easy to let him from here. Quick feet! Come on! You should be used to this by now, Saul. Things rarely go as planned. We well, have no one. Carol and the rest. Militech's all rattled up. Cut them off. They won't last long on that site. Jesus Christ. I'm taking the Panzer. They need all the help they can get. Are you out of your mind? The answer is no. You can't operate the Panzer alone without frying that gaunt brain of yours. Do you have a better idea? They're family, Pan. I'm not leaving them behind. Saul, are you on board with this? V, someone make him see reason. Mitch is a grown-ass man. Mitch is right. The three of us have still got a decent shot. But without him, they've got none. You're sure about this? Saul! We're talking goddamn suicide! Look out for yourselves. They'll kill you! I'll catch you later. He can make his own decisions, Pan Am. Carol, I'm heading your way. Hang in there! Saul! You'll owe me he's... a beer after this! They're gonna... We can't let all this be for nothing. You two go on up and see what's gotten into it. Once you're mobile, I'll follow. Secure the rear. V, let's go. Mitch? I'm here. Safe and sound. Be careful. Please. I can handle myself, man. And likewise for you. Get some Akoshi in one piece. All right, here we go. Mitch out. Please, no more cock-ups, please. Mitch doesn't get enough credit, but he's a really good character, too. Looks like the engine overheated and choked when drill bit met reinforced concrete. Bypassing sh Moment of truth. Here it goes. Everything all right? Pan Am, talk to me. No, 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 Pan Am. I'm here. I'm a bit bruised, so I haven't done worse. Pan Am, for a sec, I thought you'd. It's okay, V. Everything's okay. It's all. The tunnel's clear for now. Any word from Mitch? Still nothing. I knew it. Could be a problem with the comms. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's finish this. From here on in, it's pretty much the Arasaka Tower Assault, or at least once you break out of the basement, and follows more or less the same pattern as all of the other Arasaka Tower Assaults. Welcome to Night City! Fight your way through the security, eliminating everyone who so much as gives you a funny look until you reach Netrunner Control and you can jack Alt into the system. It's the same process as every other time you've had to fight your way into Arasaka Tower in every other one of the endings. Alt, the shard's in. Yes. How much time do you need to... It is done. I'll be dead. Hell yes! It worked! So we can keep going. Koshi. Your path lies open. Thank you, Alt. Are you certain? We good. I'm ready. Likewise. Let's move. And just like in every other playthrough, when you assault Arasaka Tower, all roads lead to the showdown with Adam Smasher. This is it. We made it. 
few steps is all that separates you from Mikoshi. It seems you'll finally get your chance. We're with you, V, to the very end. The Aldecaldos always keep their word. It can't be much further, can it? We have the room past the fort. But even here, in one of the most important parts of this and any ending that involves an assault on Arasaka Tower, it's managed to glitch out. Saul and Pan Am got stuck on the opposite side of the other door, and then somehow managed to teleport through it. Just in time. You can do this. For them to meet. And smash them. Remember, every time you get to this point of the game, and you're with somebody who is not Takamura, somebody's gonna die. Fortunately, at least, it wasn't Pan. Kill Silverhand once. He was a good man, the guy you killed today. He knew he was all in. Saul didn't want to, but he followed me here. Made the ultimate sacrifice for a friend, for family. Something you'll never understand. They say that mercy is the mark of a great man. Well, I'm just a good man. Okay, I'm all right. Firefly fans, you're welcome. Oh, and that, by the way, is one of the two final holographic tarot graffiti cards. The Judgment card, which can only be found here in Arasaka Tower. The other in the Mikoshi Orbital Station. That's the place where you find the Devil card. In this playthrough, the only card that I'm missing, but the only way to get that card is to sell your soul to Arasaka. Again, from here on in, it's the same as all of the other playthroughs. You upload your consciousness to Mikoshi, Alt disentangles your personality from Johnny's, and then gives you the bad news that it was all a complete waste of time, your body's been irretrievably altered, and your personality can no longer survive in it. And then you have to make the decision. Are you going to let Johnny take your body, in which case you get last week's ending, or are you going to say, fuck that, and take your chances with Pan Am, and the Alder Caldos for the six months or so that you have left. Perfect. Because we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with all fuck knows where. You're keeping your body. Where's she even gonna take you? Beyond the Black Wall. To become part of her. Whatever the hell that means. There's really no other way. As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there, while you come with me. Yes, I meant. I don't know. A happier ending. For everyone involved. Here, for folks like us. Wrong city. Wrong people. You have the right to make a choice you have earned. Through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. Paul, oh. if you were me, what would you do? You should come with me. 
What does that mean for me exactly? Am I gonna become like you? I was a netrunner. I understood how to survive. I cannot speak for you. Beyond the Black Wall, dangers lurk. That is no sanctuary. But it's better to be a free spirit shredded than to wither, trapped in a dying body. Don't do it, V. You've been running from this all along. It'll change you. You won't be you anymore. And you? Already took that first step a while back. I'll have an easier go of it. I told you. I said I wanted you to have my body. But... But I can't do it. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. We knew all along this is how it would play out. Don't. Don't fuck with me right now. Only if you cut your pathetic I'm sorry bullshit. Jesus, I'm about to shred a comrade and a chunk of my own soul in one fucking go. Got no idea what that shit feels like. Hmm, sounds kind of familiar. We know that attitude. CV, stand with you whether you like it or not. For fuck's sake, defend yourself. You're not even trying. You know, you taught me to let go sometimes. Save my strength for one last big bang. in smoke with damage valued in excess of the annual budget of many a small country serves you right sucka doesn't feel to be on your knees huh <laughs> worry not on wash masses our wondrous lives in night city won't change much but when do they ever we live midst dust and chrome and midst dust and chrome we shall all die now for some good news and This dam. Remember it well. Our beginnings. I did not know what to make of you then. What did you make of me? I wondered if you were anything like me. Carrying within you something damn important to prove to yourself. I was. We both were. Bet you had no idea we'd end up like this, though. <laughs> Truer words I've never heard. Night City chewed us up good, didn't it? Doesn't matter, don't think. We'll forget it all, tanning our backsides in the Arizona sun. Time and perspective. Need a bit of both. <laughs> Look at the city. Somewhere in there, those bastards from Arasaka are wondering how they lost everything. They'll figure it out one day. But we'll be long gone. Should have done this long ago. Gotten some perspective. On the city. My life there. The city of dreams. I'd gladly kick the balls off the idiot who thought that one up. Pan Am. After Makoshi. Everything there. I'm glad we made it. Here. Together. And that we're leaving. Together. Bid the city farewell. We won't see it again.
quicker I forget the whole damn thing, the better. The city makes false promises. Many of them grand, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. If you see through them before you lose everything, then you're pretty damn lucky. Perhaps luck's with us now. Perhaps we're leaving just in time. Think it is? Think we are. Time to make up for things. Shit, V. You're bleeding again. Gonna figure this out, Pan Am. Fix drug helps a bit now. And once we get to where we're going, we'll try all your contacts. They pulled some of our folks out of deep, deep cesspits. They'll help. You'll see. Good to hear. It really is. Speaking of which, what about our plan? Everything is set and confirmed. We'll meet our people soon, gather our gear, and set off. Yes, the road could be hard, but as long as we don't fuck up, we should cross the border in a matter of hours. Let's get out of here. Sure. But V, get a good look at the city. One last time. If you need to, I mean. I'll wait in the car. Well, Night City, despite the bugs, it has been one hell of a ride, but... Well, Night City, good night and good luck. Adios, muchachos. Me and the best ass on the planet are getting the fuck out of here. Oh my god, no, I've changed my mind. Stop, let me out. <laughs> I refuse to live with somebody who has such shockingly poor taste in music. Okay, maybe there is hope for her after all. I think that was us cracks, actually. The band that uh, Kerry Uridine ended up doing a comeback tour with. Most of our people have already crossed. They'll wait for us on the other side. And our souvenirs from Mikoshi? If we so much as approached the gates with tech like that, they would wipe us out without warning. We've checked. Arasaka has people at every border crossing. But we know a road less traveled. You're nomads. I'd be very disappointed if you didn't. Arasaka. Deja vu. Did I say something wrong? Just reminded me of Jackie and the Arasaka job. Think you know how that ended. I'm sorry, V. Come on. You had nothing to do with that. And anyway, things will be different now. Gotta be. Yeah, if you chose the nomad life path, then you meet Jackie at the beginning by smuggling some contraband over the border with him from Southern California. There is one thing I will miss about Night City. What's that? The food. The tie on 7th and Haywood. The pierogies down by the docks. Mm. Seriously? You'll understand once you've ridden with us for a while. Just realized. Already bringing everything I could possibly miss. <laughs> v, you are a sweet talker, aren't you? <laughs> but it works, doesn't it? Say it. Say it works. It works. All too well. You're with me now. We will figure out and take care of that piece of shit in your head. I know. The contraband that you and Jackie were smuggling at the beginning of the game, by the way, was a live iguana. And later on you find it in Yorinobu's penthouse suite in the Kompeki Plaza. A little bit of trivia there for you. Pan Am! Girl, are you running from Night City or going to your granny's for cookies and milk? Gun it or that storm will catch you. Screw you. Bitch, hey. Hey, V. Good to hear you, Chum. How's things? Give me a month and I'll be as good as new. I told you all I'd be fine, didn't I? Come on, Mitch. You weren't nearly that confident after Makoshi. None of us were. He was in bed for weeks. A vegetable. It would have been the end of him if not for his synapses. Toughened. Made almost fry-proof in panzers back in the war. <laughs> Did save every one of our asses, though. Petty Saul's not with us. Or Teddy. 
or Bobby, or Scorpion. They would have kicked your ass out of whack after that move with the Panzer. Then hugged you until you puked. I know, Pan Am, I know. Give us all a chance at a new start. Let's not fuck it up. I'm glad you're with us, V. See you soon. And the glitches continue. Mitch just drove right through Carol's car. Even through the air conditioning. It's that storm getting close. God damn it, CDPR. This part of the game's important. Stop fucking it up. I mean, it's still good despite the bugs. But it should have and could have been great. Okay, we've arrived. It's high time. Oh, they got the Panzer out and more or less one piece. Nice job, Mitch. Mitch drove Panzers back in the fourth corporate war. Hey, Mitch. Hey, let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Hey, how are things? Is everything arranged? Everything's almost set. So you found it? Where we thought it would be? All plans laid in in place. They are indeed. Come see us when you're done. We'll talk about the who, what, and how. Hey, Cassidy. That guy is the spitting image of Sam Elliott. V, let me be thoroughly honest with you. Okay, gotta get going. Awesome. Conversation bugs. <laughs> Wait. Legendary loot? Here? Really? Where it's absolutely no use to me whatsoever? <laughs> oh, let's wrap this shit up. All right, so the plan, one more time. We won't take any official crossing. I think you know that, right? So there's this old smuggling tunnel, forgotten. We'll aim to use that. It's near the wall. Wait, are we talking about one of those famous Aldecaldo tunnels? Mm-hmm, one of the oldest ones, this one too. They dug through right after the first war. Aldecaldo stopped using it years ago. We got tipped off that Night Corp had found it and started monitoring the area. You scan it? You sure the tunnel's even open? Hasn't caved in anywhere? It's open along its entire course. And all it needs is to stay open for us this last time. Then it can collapse. We won't be needing it anymore. Look, tunnel's cool and all, but we gotta get there first. And what about security up and down the border? Whole area's brimming with tech. Drones on perpetual patrol? Heavier stuff too, maybe. Don't worry. We know what's there and what to do about it. And Carol and Cassidy will keep the corpos off our tail. Great. And once we've crossed, what then? We'll make for our meeting point, join the rest of our people there, then we'll move on towards Tucson. And once there, we call the shots, right? We know the road's like the back of our hand. And down in Arizona, we have some old favors to call in. <laughs> so even if I wanted to, I got nothing to worry about. Starting today, it's not all on your back. You're no longer alone, V. You'll get used to it. It's nice. Thanks. Well, time to move. Before that storm finds us. set mm -hmm. so jack in let's get the hell out of here you got it this is your big new beginning so you have to start it like a real nomad behind the proverbial wheel mostly go straight go around the bigger holes and don't lose the rest got it i will deal with the nitro the mix will go straight to the cylinders if I don't think it just right manually, it could blow us to bits. I think that's best avoided. Fuck. I just realized something. What? 
The portal wall. It wasn't here when I was there. I never imagined it would be. But I had this inkling that everything was different up north. That some bright fucking future awaited me there. Yeah, I think I know what comes next. Once you wound up on the other side and nothing changed, you thought Night City was the answer. Everything would change there. Yes. You know the tale's end, too. I'm returning. Right back to where I started. Fuck. No. I'd be the same place on the other side, save the space, but you were different. Totally different. All in all, you're right. And I have you. And the rest of these plans. New beginning. Don't slow down, Pan Am. Not yet. All great, Pan Am. We're going home. And that, kids, was Cyberpunk 2077. I hope you've enjoyed the series, because until CDPR release any DLC, that is pretty much it. I've covered just about everything that the game has to offer. And I do hope you've enjoyed it. As usual, we let the, uh, the credits messages run. But from here on in, I'm out. So take care, stay safe, and as always, I'll catch you next time. Hey, 
V. How's life out there in the desert? Getting some sun? Some fresh air in those lungs? Don't forget to get yourself a checkup every once in a while. Any dust or dirt gets into that insulation, you're done. Of course, decent ripper is harder to find out there than a four-star hotel. So actually, how about you just stop by when you're back in the city, huh? Think I could swing a little discount for an old regular like you. Till next time, V. V, is it true what they say? You rolling around in the dirt with the Aldecaldos? Have you lost your mind, mijo? Didn't you get in enough trouble already, eh? Night City was too boring for you. Estás loco, eh? Crazy, completely crazy. <sighs> Just watch out for yourself, okay? Don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not going to a second funeral. Forget to stop by Mama Wells, okay? Just give me a call before, and I'll make my special chilaquiles just for you. <laughs> Cuídate, V. Hey, V. Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks for everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I, I can't even describe it. All right. Enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hey, V. Listen, I don't think I'll make it back to camp tonight. Sandstorm's coming our way. No choice but to sit tight and hold it out. Just wanted to say, uh, I know this isn't the first time. You know, that we had plans. I never realized how hard being a chief would be. It always looked so easy from the outside. I'm just... I'm so lucky to have you, V. You can't even begin to imagine how much it means to me. How... Guess it's time to go. I'll make it up to you. I promise. V. Hey. Christ. That run we did. My heart's still pounding. A pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, I mean, the odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But just remember, we'd walk through hell and back with you, brother, anytime. Until next time, eh? Take care. Hey, Rogue here. I wanted to... Oh, voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V? I was wondering if you could pass a message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second... That it was nice to talk to him again. Both of you, take care of yourselves, okay? Hey, B, so funny thing just said. Oh, fuck, fuck, shit. Voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. Uh, what did I even. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on tour with them. At first I was like over my dead fucking body. But then I thought, hey, wait, I could actually be fun. So, uh, what else? Well, there's the latest gossip for you, if you can. 
Call me back when you can, okay? Peace out. B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us, for me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Before samurai committed to seppuku, they wrote Jisei, a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late. Some were truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rat in hell, Xero. Perales. V, you're gonna want to hear this. But first, we need to go somewhere no one's listening. Okay, so my wife, Elizabeth, she's in on the whole thing. She, she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these pills. Says they're vitamins. Got them analyzed at a lab. And they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, 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 you got a sec, call me, okay? Oh, oh yeah, and don't forget to delete this message. Hey V, listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long, and I... Well, one thing led to another. You know what I drew? The chariot, the lovers... And the sun. <laughs> Looks like you've got a good life ahead of you out in the Badlands. Good luck, V. Be free. <laughs>